Hello guys, Sergio here, bringing you the February update for Total War Rome 2. In this video I'm gonna talk about the following topics, which are Isenai being a playable faction, why are Isenai and Sebi on the map after all, I'm also gonna talk about the helmets of the soldiers and the name of the units. So, why is Isenai a playable faction? Well, the playable factions in Rome 2 will largely mirror those available in the original game. The Isenai have an interesting star position and their mix of chariots and Celtic ways of fighting make them fun and different on the battlefield. They are a nice faction and varied from other factions such as the Arvorni and Swaby. Also, Creative Assembly sustained that nationalism played no part in their decision. Even though we don't know if Isenai and Swaby were around at the start of the game, they are still on the map. Why? We don't know for certain about who lived in huge parts of the area converted by the campaign map simply because records of who was where do not exist until the Romans or some of the Greek nations encountered them. What we do know is that there were people in those areas with material link to later tribes. We can't say for certain that they were one and the same and there is definitely evidence in some places they weren't. But using the earliest known names, Creative Assembly found four tribes in areas such as Britain or Germany. I suppose this is enough. It's better to be a tribe there than no tribe at all, don't you think so? Now let's move to the third subject of this video. The cheek plates on a lot of helmets don't fit very closely with the faces. Why is that? Well, here's the answer for it. The helmets have to fit on a large variety of faces and making them fit closely to one of them will make them clip through the model of another. And finally the name of the units. So people felt that shield bearer was the generic name. However only one unit will have that name. The shield bearer are based on the hypospists of Alexanders and the later successor armies. Those armies will also feature units such as Royal Peltasts, Thorax, Swordsman, Tyrius, Spears, Companion, Cavalry and more. Creative Assembly use well-known names, Companion Cavalry are well-known thanks to many documentaries and books on Alexander and in some cases mixing historical terms, Thorax meaning body armor with generic terms such as Swordsman. Thorax Swordsman historically would have been Thorokitai, so they decided to call them Thorax Swordsman as it contains flavor in the use of a historical term alongside a word that gives a good indication to players the role of the units. And now feast your eyes with some screenshots of shields patterns for the Britons, Celts and Germans. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.